ericmother.com. Now let me take a look at Nokia's chart and this is the beginning of May 2018. As you can see here, what I want to focus here is the concept of understanding how things can change from one period to another. Because we're beginning a new month, a new month has a tendency sometimes to change the dynamics. So looking at it from that point of view, let's take a look at this chart here with a simple conclusion that by the time you watch this, let's see what happens either from a learning perspective to see whether there was a pullback in Nokia's chart based on what I'm going to share. One thing I want to begin with here is number one, let's see here, there was a breakout attempt that failed and after this failed breakout attempt, clearly there was a pullback. So always want to be on the lookout for failed breakouts. Now that's the weekly chart here. We can see in the current market environment is also we are looking at the potential. Of course it is still playing out but there's a potential here for a failed weekly breakout that might be a negative net net might suggest reason to expect lower prices for a swing trade at the very least. Now let's take a look at the RSI which is obviously my favorite as you are very aware. And we can see here that if you take a look at the RSI, a couple of observations is number one. We have this recent break from mid 2017 where we broke down. After breaking down, I want to show you how this becomes relevant in the current market environment by using my uniformity method. Now the stock is very aware of this line. I'm going to say that just because we can see here it is responding to that level. Keep in mind, it so happens that the level is around the RSI level of 61.8. And what does that mean? That means that the level is legit. Stocks responding to it. Actually, that's the, ma the main takeaway here. And because the stock ha is responding to that level, again, we see another layer of reasoning suggesting that if we wanna wanna be prudent here, the best logical approach is to assume at some point this is setting up for a pullback unless, clearly, unless the market decides to move above that RSI resistance line. But based on the uniformity method, and again, you can find more about this in the description of the video, assuming I don't forget to add it, but uniformity is what I'm trying to say. So you can take a look. There should be a method titled uniformity for those who are new to this method which again might be something you might never have heard or considered before the reason being that this is my own method it has been tested true and tested over a period of many years so we see that this is also showing resistance on this uniformity resistance line the takeaway even on this is the RSI on the weekly continues to suggest to expect lower price now for color, let me add another line on this weekly chart. It should look something like that. Hope that is not too busy for you. But what this line gives is it gives us a break here, which is this major drop. We try to move above this line twice here. We are rejected for those highs. And again, here we are showing resistance. So what I can do is take, take out all those other lines so we can see this clearly. And we see that if I draw the line again, it should be something like that. We see that if you are going to place a bet, the bet here is pretty obvious that the more we continue showing resistance here, the more we should expect this to be the beginning of a pullback on a week to week basis. Now, I want to take a look at the long term monthly chart. Long term monthly chart has a line to consider here which actually ties into what we are discussing here it is the top side resistance line on the long term monthly chart and again without any type of adjustment we can see the stock is beginning the month like i said at the beginning of this video sometimes understanding the dynamics of a month to month action and how things can change here we can see that we are coming beginning the month and the month is only you know a couple hours old and we can see that this is already showing a response with a resistance level. So again, even on the monthly, given that one chart, one line analysis on the monthly, long-term monthly chart, again, pointing to lower prices unless, unless 
this can be clear to the upside. Unless it can move above the blue line, we are looking at a market that wants to pull back. Now, of course, we can also see other lines of potential resistance. For example, you can see here was a break off the highs of 2015. This break. A break of those highs. We take that information and draw our uniformity resistance line. Should be something like that. We see here in 2017, we hit that twice. And there was a stall. And so we are even right now we are unable to move above that line. We can also see that we can look at the last couple of years and we can see this was the recent break. And that break is being tested as we begin the month of May 2018. By the time you watch this, it's going to be many months after the fact. But what we can see here net net is we are looking at a market that is potentially stalling as far as Nokia is concerned and even the general market itself is pulling back. So if Nokia is going to move lower, especially if it's going to move substantially lower, that could also be because of the market itself pulling back. So this might also have a indirect view of the market. If there's going to be a major plunge in Nokia, I am assuming the general market is going to be in trouble. If the general market can stabilize around here, then Nokia might be able to correct some of the flaws that we've seen on the weekly and on the monthly chart. Eric Mwadith, Mother .com. As always, good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah. Woo!